Welcome back to part two of Smithy's over 100 golf courses in a year. Uh, we're at course number 152, that's a new best for me. And this is Spalding Golf Club in Lincolnshire now. Uh, driven from Norwich earlier. Uh, still Sunday the 19th of September. Yeah, had a uh, nearly two hour drive. Bit slow going, but just through the band of rain that we, uh, is going right across uh, towards the east of England. So hopefully I've beaten that and I've got into the, the dry side. So looking forward to this one. Let's go and see what it's got. Ladies and gentlemen, it's course number 152, Spalding Golf Club. On the tee, the man creating a new Smithy All Comers record of 152 golf courses in a year from Kirkintilloch in Scotland, Smithy. The second at Spalding, 357 yards, par 4. Uh, rather interesting drive over the corner of looks like a fen. There it is, getting away up there. Quite dangerous, uh, so we might have to get the new stunt golf ball, Raquel. Keep saying Raquel Welsh, but there we go. And uh, we look back down, then back up to where we're going. Shot down the uh, fourth at Spalding, uh, it's 410 yards, it's stroke index one. Well, it looks easy enough, but let's go up for a wee pan to the right. Anything right goes into that big fen that was uh, this is the opposite way now. We're heading back towards the clubhouse. We don't want it to go right. The uh, sixth hole at Spalding, uh, first of the par threes, uh, 191 yards. A long way away. Uh, can't read anything short. These two bunkers, there's an arrow bit through to the uh, to the green over the humps. The tee shot on the eighth at Spalding, it's 509 yards. Little. Uh, mini fen to the left there, so out of bounds to the left and it's a wee bit wider on the right hand side and for the first time we'll come across somebody in the fairway it's not bad, seven free holes catching up now a shot up to the 8th green at Spalding, uh, it's a par 5 and it's, uh, it's, it rises quite steeply uh, green's on a plateau, a sort of crown it's uh, down the ninth at Spalding, it's 144 yards, par 3 uh, there was a few lily ponds, some wet stuff down there, so it's time for the stunt golf ball Raquel to come in for this one. Good luck. The uh, tenth at Spalding, it's uh, about 347 yards. Uh, I'm sort of out to the, I'm not out to the left, I've gone through the green, but the second shot, but it's just a nice wee approach if you go to the left hand side. Uh, it's a bit dangerous. And I'll just walk around. So as I said, anything out to the left is going to be wet. And this is it up to the green. It's the 13th at Spalding. It's uh, par 5, 472 yards. Uh, it's the approach to the green. It's a clubhouse in the background, obviously. Uh, if you've got another bunker. The uh, tee shot on 18 at Spalding, 351 yards. Looks as if it's going to dog leg round to the left. Don't quite know, but I'm hoping so. Uh, this is a shot into the green at the 18th. Obviously, a clubhouse in the background. A lot of stream going uh, across. Uh, guarded by the bunker there. That's uh, a very nice finishing hole. Uh, let's see if we can get a bit closer. That's just a high quality course. I just finished on 18 at Spalding. Lovely course. Uh, Really well manicured, it's so green, I've never seen a course quite as lush and green as this one, don't think, but uh, very nice to play. Uh, some tough holes, some long holes, some short ones, a few ponds, uh, every hole different, lots of variation. Uh, it's a high quality course, the greens are in excellent condition and it's really well looked after. Uh, not quite sure how much the uh, standard green fee is. Uh, but the twilight rate was uh, £45 this afternoon but uh, I think the lady in the pro shop took pity on me being Billy No Mates I'll get a decent discount off that so I must have felt sorry for me but uh, yeah, thoroughly enjoyed it and uh, for me it's going to be an 8.25 thank you very much